Lesson 10, inequality type, example 2. Prove that 3 to the n is greater than or equal to 1 plus 2n for all integral n greater than or equal to 1. So we'll start with n equals 1. So for n equal to 1, the left hand side is equal to 3 to the 1, which is 3. The right hand side is equal to 1 plus 2, which again equals 3 the left hand side therefore the statement is true for n equals 1 now we'll assume the statement is true for n equals k <coughs> excuse me that is 3 to the k is greater than or equal to 1 plus 2k. It's our assumption statement. We have to prove the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. That is, 3 to the k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus to outside of k plus 1 and that's our proof p statements okay now I'm going to try and make or we'll, we'll make the left hand side of a the same as the left hand side of p so to do that we'll multiply both sides multiply both sides of A by 3. So now we're going to get 3 to the K plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3 outside of 1 plus 2K. Now, for this P to be true, okay, that this here will have to be greater than this one here. Okay? So if this one is greater than that one, therefore this will be true. Right? Because this is the true statement. So we'll say that for P to be true. Three to the one three outside of one plus two K, it's got to be greater than or equal to 1 plus 2 outside of k plus 1. That is 3 outside of 1 plus 2k minus 1 minus 2 outside of k plus 1. That's going to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, left hand side is equal to, removing the brackets, 3 plus 6k minus 1 minus 2k minus 2 because there's a 3 all these numbers go out and we just get 4k now k is greater than or equal to 1 which means that the left hand side is going to be greater than 0 that means p is true Therefore, the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now, the statement is true for n equals 1. So, by mathematical induction, the statement is true for n greater than or equal to 1.